Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to do a quick video. I want to show you guys my best camera settings on the Sony ZV-1 for Zoom and for Google as well, okay? So stay tuned, check it out. All right, so I've got the Sony ZV-1. I'm gonna go through some of my settings that I've got set up on the camera. I'm gonna hit menu, I'm gonna hit the function key. Uh, if I skip through a page, it's cause I don't really got any use for it. Uh, right there, nothing. Nothing. No, I am in memory recall, but I'll show you guys that in just a second. This is how you save your memory recall. So once you get your settings, you could save it and you won't have to reset the camera every single time. All right, focus mode. I've got it on continuous autofocus. On focus area, I've got it on zone. Uh, I like it to focus on a certain area. And then once I, here, I'll just show you, I get to move the area. I can make it wide in the center, but I actually like to put it up here because naturally that's kind of where my head stays in the shot. So I just leave it right there and it works really good for me. So I leave it on zone. Face eye detection, I have it on. Nothing there. Uh, nothing there. My ISO, I have it set. Uh, you could leave it on auto. But um, if you're kind of in an environment where you know the light's gonna be steady, uh, I recommend that you just kind of set it to where you're happy with it. And uh, since I usually shoot in, uh, in profile one, I like to expose for it to be at zero. So as long as my exposure is at zero or I kind of underexpose maybe negative three, negative seven, if I'm going for a darker look. And once I got that set, that's where I locked the ISO. So you might want to try that, but if you're not sure what I'm talking about or it's just easier, you could just leave it on auto. Metering, I have it on multi, nothing there. My white balance, I set my white balance because I have a gray card, but if you don't, you can leave it on auto, but I recommend that you switch this to uh, white to change the priority from standard to white. That way the camera's uh, constantly looking for what's white or trying to get the colors to match white. And uh, I just get better results that way. I do have a picture profile. Uh, I'll come back to that in just a second to show you those settings. Uh, I have soft skin on, on low. Just, I don't know, I'm not sure it really does anything, but I have it on. Nothing there. Uh, I have showcase mode off, cause I'm not, I'm teaching class, so I'm not uh, trying to show off products via Zoom. So I have it off, but if you need to do that, turn it on. All right, going back to the, to the actual camera settings, I'm an HD 60 at 50. Uh, that's where I get the best results for Zoom and Google. If I was filming just like B-roll, obviously I'd be filming probably in 4K at 24 or HD at 120. But for our purposes here, I'm filming at HD 60 at 50. Uh, I have my, my autofocus set to normal and standard, just cause I don't want the camera to be bouncing around. And when I set the, the focus area to zone, it doesn't bounce around a lot. So I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like I'm, I, I get good results on camera. Uh, you don't have to worry anything here. Uh, with steady shot, I have it on a tripod. Uh, I just leave it on standard just cause, but if you have it on a tripod, you can leave it off. You don't need to have it in active if you're on a tripod especially if you're using it for Zoom as a webcam. <laughs> nothing there, uh, nothing there, nothing there. Uh, my zebras, I've got them set to 95. Uh, my grid line, I just have it on square. Exposure guide, I have it on on. Uh, here I set my custom keys, I'll show you that in just a second. And that's about it for that. All right, so here in the actual setup menu, I'll show you guys what I have. For the monitor brightness, uh, you can put it down to negative two. Uh, it'll keep the camera from overheating. Uh, at least I found I get, to, I get to use this camera on one battery for about four and a half hours, uh, leaving it on monitor brightness low, especially since I could watch myself on Zoom. So I don't have to worry about that. So I'll leave it on low. Uh, the power, you're definitely gonna wanna set that to 30. Uh, 
I have that on off. The, the temperature, so I did a high. Set that to high so that the camera won't shut off after like five minutes. And finally, you wanna make sure they have USB power supply, okay? You wanna make sure that that's on. That's how you're gonna keep your camera powered via the USB uh, using the Sony remote app on your Mac or on the computer or on a PC. And other than that, that's it. Those are my settings, my general settings for uh, uh, live streaming with the Sony ZV-1 via Zoom or Google, all right? In the next clip or next video, I'm gonna show you guys my actual picture profile settings, okay? Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.